Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the end of the one of the hottest weeks I think we've ever had for the Medford area and surrounding areas. Northern California saw some very, very hot temperatures as well. We we're seeing records really throughout much of the area. We set a few as we went towards yesterday afternoon. Today, we're going to get close, but I don't think we're going to be setting nearly as many records as we've seen over the last few days with high pressure finally starting to break down just a little bit. It's shifting off to the south as we go through into the weekend, and as that happens, we'll see low pressure that you can barely see out off of the coast? Well, that's going to start to move into our area. As that happens, we could see slightly cooler temperatures, but an increasing chance of thunderstorms. With how dry it's been out there, that's an increasing chance of fire danger. With 69 degrees for Brookings compared to the 70s that we were seeing out on the coast yesterday, partly cloudy skies and some areas of fog. Plenty of fog early this morning and later after midnight. For the West Valley's increasing cloud cover and plenty of smoke from local fires. 104 for Medford, 101 for Montague and Wairika, and 103 degrees for Grants Pass. So still on the hot side of things. Excessive heat warning that's going to last till 8 p.m. tonight. And 93 degrees for Klamath Falls with a heat advisory as you look east at the Cascades. Your seven day forecast shows, well, we're cooling down, but not by a whole lot with a slight chance of storms towards Tuesday. Get close to some records, but not quite there for today. Klamath Basin, plenty of chances of storms, mostly in the afternoons as we go Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Mount Shasta City also seeing that chance of storms, mostly around 90 degrees, your high temperatures. And out on the coast, expect fog in the mornings.